Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Manjaro build ISO. Um, it's not going to be like the website shows it because I had to do it a little different than from what the website was saying. So this is going to show you how I did it and how things worked out for me. So here's the build that I did. I got it installed on VirtualBox. I was going to do it on that other computer, but the screen casting ain't working out too great. So we're going to do it in VirtualBox here. So this is the build that I finally got finished here. Got the Chrome installed and all that good stuff. So first thing you want to do once you uh, get it installed, install these right here. Manjaro Tools Base. Manjaro Tools ISO. Manjaro EFI Utilities. Manjaro ISO Profiles Base. Manjaro ISO Profiles Community and Manjaro ISO Profiles Official. Alright, so now you want to download the packages from the AUR that you want to use. So the way I did it, um, you can go Yoward slash G and the package name and download it like that, but the way I did, I just went to the uh, Arch AUR website here, and I clicked on Download Snapshot, so there I got uh, two of them here downloaded there, so that's how we did that, and then we go into the Download Folder, I'm going to right click or uh, just click on them, extract, and then close that out and do the same to that one, extract it, and close that out. Okay, now you want to go into the package here and right click on it, open terminal, and then type make pkg slash s and you have to do that to both of them so we're going to do the chrome first okay now that we got both the packages make packages done so both of them are done and you just got to for how many packages you put in here you just got to do each one of them so we're doing two just to show you I'm doing these two here. So now we're going to go into this folder here and we're going to open up another folder and we're just going to uh, make a folder here real quick and name it x86 underscore 64 and then we're going to go into that one and we're going to drag this over here and let's drag this over here so now I'm going to drag the one that's called tar.xz into that folder there and then I'm going to go get the other program that I want to put in the AUR this one is the tar.xz2 so put those both in there and let me close that out alright this is your repo folder now so now you want to right click on it and open a terminal and then you want to type this right here repo slash add and you can name it whatever you want I, I, I just named it offline slash repo dot db dot tar dot gz and that little star thing whatever that is asterisk and dot pkg dot tar dot asterisk and you can do them one at a time by just uh, after you push uh, gz you can hit tab and it'll find the package once you put the first letter and hit tab but if you do it like this right here it just does all of them at one shot because then you don't have to do if you have multiple packages in there this one will just keep doing it so now we're going to hit that okay now that that's done we're going to take this folder here let's open another file browser here and navigate to var catch pacman and let's right click on that and go to into root and 
get your online repo folder and paste it right in there okay now you have that done and now close all this out now I want you to download all the packages that you got in there from the AUR and all the other packages you want to install on your system and configure the whole system like you want it every little detail that you have to do setting the menu like you want it putting a donkey the whatever the theme the uh, system you know the power settings and everything you just got to go through everything I want you to go through how you want it do all that and you have to have your software that you have in your custom repo installed so all that's installed because you're gonna probably set it up like I did on the docky here so just configure the whole system and get it ready the way you want it with the theming everything all right now we're going to navigate to user share Manjaro tools and right click as root and if you're going to add your custom package might as well do that now so let's go back to find out where we put it it was in var catch pacman packages x86 so we're going to copy this and if you're going to make a 64 bit like I did that's the multi if you're going to make a 32 bit put it in the default so we're going to do the same thing that I did the 64 bit we're going to come into this right here go over at the very bottom and we're gonna put um, our what is that uh, what are those things called the bracket offline slash repo and another bracket and then capital S sig capital L level that uh, equals sign and capital N never and the next line we're going to go capital S server and then we're going to put file colon slash slash and then we're going to copy paste that right there so that's the way I did it and you can leave this out right here and put this but it's just directing it to that and, you know if you're doing uh, packages for 64-bit and 32-bit then this will direct it to the 64-bit and things like that so we're just gonna do it the 64-bit we don't need to worry about that so that's the way I did it right there so we're gonna save that okay now that you've got your system all configured the way you want okay we did the little repo in there we're gonna to go to here Manjaro uh, whatever build you're gonna do XSCE LXQT GNOME so I did the XSCE so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna go into overlays ETC and I'm gonna make this folder call it SKEL and then I'm going to open that folder now you're ready to, to do your system I mean you got to go through the whole thing can't to leave anything out like I, I've done make sure you configure the whole system now we're gonna copy this right here but what you have to do because you don't want to copy like this because then when it boots up it's gonna have to be show all so you're gonna want to come into the system settings go to the settings editor done R and unclick the last show hidden now you're ready to copy this we're going to copy this and copy it to our scale folder here okay once you get all that stuff copied into your scale folder 
come to a live overlay and create a, another scale folder in here. Now it says it'll it will um, put it in here but I went ahead and copied it in here too so copy and paste it in there too. Okay now we're back with the packages list same area user share Manjaro tools ISO profiles Manjaro XFCE so here's where all your packages are going to be and if you scroll down you'll see there there's fonts games display manager now the only thing I did is applications here and you, if you don't want to add something you don't have to delete what's here let's say if you didn't want um, let's say you didn't want G part it you don't have to delete it so you know that it's supposed to be there just uh, comment it out like that with a little uh, number sign that's all you have to do if you don't want uh, G part it if you want it all you have to do is that so all I did is come down here uncommon I mean comment out the ones that I didn't want then came down at the very end here and started adding the packages that I want right there so once you get all the packages you want in here and also made another area uh, and said for my custom repo packages I put uh, AUR uh, packages just so I know what those are so then I put uh, Google Chrome and Etcher like that so once you get all this configured and you save that just like that alright to configure the light DM greeter you can either find that file and just copy and paste it over but what I did um, I just came in here and changed it like a, this is the uh, center this it doesn't really tell you here position this right here is the uh, horizontal and this right here is the vertical so if I put this at 20 like that it's going to put it up here it'll be right about here area and then if you want it at the top the panel put it at the top and then your background whatever background you're going to want right here that's what uh, background is going to go there and whatever theme like I've added the dark so I just put and you got to make sure the spelling is right so it's capital D like that so that's about how I had it and then I changed the wallpaper to that other wallpaper and so you just got to get in there and configure that I'm going to get to the wallpapers I'm going to show you where that is alright go back to your user share Manjaro tools ISO profiles Manjaro XFCE desktop overlay and the ETC again is going back into the scale and these are the system files that you your config files that you copied over so we're going to make sure the wallpaper or your custom wallpaper is correct so go into config xfce4 xf config per channel and we're going to go here to desktop now these right here is where you're going to your wallpaper wherever your custom wallpaper is going to be that's where you're going to put that uh, what's it called directory so there you see I use the uh, one that's uh, it's one of the Manjaro ones there it's called uh, Manjaro WA LL1707 so you have to put it on this line put it on this line put it on that line and this line and this line so you see there there's one two three four five 
spots you got to put that. So wherever your custom wallpaper is, that's where you want it to be. Then save that. Okay, we're back on the overlays. Now whatever you do in this desktop overlay, you got to do in the live overlay. overlay. So um, this is the way I did it. They said it should uh, copy over by itself automatically, but I wasn't having that luck. So whatever I did in here, I do in here. So they're going to be the same. Everything uh, is going, I'm going to copy it in there. So if I have my light DM here, I'm going to copy it and put it also in there. And then my scale folder is going to be the same as the one in the desktop. So now once you get it all configured, you want to come in here and do a cleanup. Like you see here, I'm copied over this folder here that shouldn't be there. So we're going to delete that. And remember, we got to do it in both of them. Bash history. Let's clean up the bash history. And any other folders that shouldn't be here. I don't have Mozilla installed, so uh, let's uh, delete that. Just go through the whole thing where uh, nothing is in documents, nothing is in downloads. You see, I left them folders in downloads. Just do a total cleanup. Think about everything. Anything in music, pictures thumbnails so all these are your config files and so all that should be good there got all these software installed and so just do a total cleanup and then you gotta make sure you do it in the live overlay too okay so now you got your desktop overlay your light DM configured your wallpapers configured everything's configured in here you did a cleanup everything's cleaned out of there and you did the same thing in the live overlay. You got all your packages installed and saved. And you got the repo configured with your custom repo down here. So now we're ready to build. So let's just close all that out. Let's open up a terminal. And now we're going to type build ISO space slash P and so if you're building a gnome type gnome after this if you're building made or whatever so we're doing the XFCE so I'm going to type XFCE then I'm going to put space again another slash and I'm going to type X here because X is only going to build the image that's what I want to do first is I don't want it to completely keep going and build the ISO I want to build the image first so now we're going to push return put your password and let that build okay a perfect example of what ha can happen and you that's why you got to double check everything you see I misspelled Chrome Google Chrome. So let's go back into user share Manjaro tools and we want to right click on that open as root and we're going to go back into the profiles Manjaro XFCE and go back to the packages here and right here you see I misspelled Google so let's fix that and we're gonna save that and run it again so now we can just start it all over again Okay, I ran it again, but I had another error. So somewhere I made another mistake because I was rushing this. So here it says uh, invalid or corrupted packages. So I went to the package to make sure I have everything correct. And you see here SIG level. I put SIG level lever. 
So I don't know why I typed lever, but it should be level, sig level. So let's double check everything real good here. Zoom in on this. Should be offline repo, sig level, not lever, and never, and it should be capital S, sig, capital L, level, capital N, never, capital N, I mean capital S, server, and then small file for the F, and so all that's correct. So I had an R here. So now I'm going to correct that and run it again. I have to, let's see, not save that. I have to go back in here as root. And let's go back into the multi-lib. Scroll all the way down. See, I put, I put a R on there for some reason. And I'm going to back that up and put a L. That's the way it should be. So let's run it again. Save that. Close that out. And now we're going to run it one more time. Get your password. Wrong password. Okay, now we're going to run it again. Okay, now we ended up with this. So it's got this little warning down here. Continue, compress, build ISO, P, XFCE, slash, CZ. But we don't want to do that yet. Because if you remember that little repo that we put into the Pac-Man config file, on the Manjaro website it says it will not get copied over if it's offline, online, or I've tried both ways. It doesn't seem to matter. So this is the way I did it. Uh, we're going to go to var lib manjaro tools build iso and we're going to go in there as root xfce the x60 i mean x8664 and then we're going to go into this desktop fs and the live and root fs so first let's go to this one the desktop fs and then etc and then scroll down here to your pacman config and scroll all the way down and there it is so we want to remove that save that then we want to back up and go to the live and then etc and the pacman config is in here too so we're going to go all the way down and remove that save it back it up and go to root fs etc scroll and find pacman config and there it is so we're going to scroll all the way down this one and remove that one. Now at this time if you need to make any kind of adjustments uh, not software installed but uh, any kind of uh, adjustments you need to to make on the system you can go to uh, user or let's see where was it at uh, desktop It, no, no, it wasn't there. Uh, I thought it was in user share. That's your user share folders. But uh, here is, uh, let's see, maybe it was in this, oh, it's in this one. Uh, the home folder is not in there yet. So if you need to make any adjustments in your home folder, you go back to uh, the user share Manjaro tools in that folder and so these are all the system if you need to make any adjustments in here that's where you're going to uh, get to them just like we uh, removed the pacman repo out of there so it's this one this one and this one to get that repo out of there and they're all in the etc folder 
So remove that and if you still need to make any adjustments you can still go back to user share uh, let's see Manjaro tools and you can make adjustments in here for your profiles if you wanted to add something let's say um, let's say I wanted to um, let's say I wanted to change the uh, something with the power config so I'm going to config xfce4 x config per channel and let's say I wanted to do something with the power management uh, the the screen goes off at 15 minutes I can change that in here if I wanted to make it uh, 20 minutes then I could say okay I want to change that to 20 minutes and save that out so you can just come in here and modify anything to change anything you want and now we're ready to go we got rid of the repo so we're going to close all that out and now we're going to type that's what it says right here they uh, build ISO slash P XFCE slash Z zebra Charlie and if you need help you can type help <clears throat> I think that pulls up all the help and that tells you what these key commands are uh, the C is to disable the clean workup and all that so uh, we're just going to type in build ISO slash P X F C E slash C Z just like they said there and then I'm not going to do this because it takes too long um, but once you do this and it builds the ISO and then you want to test it so you go to file system var catch Manjaro tools ISO Manjaro XFCE there's the 1701 so it's going to be right here and then you grab it out of there the ISO will be right here in this file get it out of there and put it on your um, virtual machine and test it out and then if you have to do it again because you messed up something like I did <laughs> then you just come back into the terminal and r configure uh, first configure out you know what you got wrong and just run the whole thing again and you have to go back into of course into your file systems and user share uh, and make sure you change all the you know whatever your need to configure just make sure you go back into the uh, the profiles and XFCE your desktop overlay and the live overlay make sure both of these are the same in the scale folder so whatever you change you gotta do it in here this one too so there you go so I guess I'm gonna wrap this up here and that's about it really so now when I push build ISO slash P right here XFCE slash it's going to start building it and then I'll have the ISO and it won't have the uh, that repo left in there so when I boot it up it won't have that repo so that's the way I did it I hope this helps somebody I just want to wrap this up here alright y'all